is Bugger Butterfingers22 back in again with another video. So we are doing a little little uh golf PGA tour in my career. So we're gonna go to the upcoming event. So we're um so his name is Billy Bacon Jr. He is from Norway. He has yellow hair with just a spiky like thing. Like just regular. So let's get right into this. Okay, let's get right into this. So guys, if we want to make another video, the like goal is five likes and we will make another video. So smash the like button and I will do another episode. In the world of professional golf, there exists an elite so. club. A club filled with legends, household names, and rising stars. A club where membership is earned yearly with time, sweat, dedication this week 50 players will gain entry into this exclusive fellowship the top 25 from the regular season have already secured their spots and another 25 spots are up for grabs here this week some dreams will be realized others will have to wait another day who will be next to join the likes of jason duffman brand snedeker and keegan bradley as the next great web.com tour graduate We want to be in the top 25 for this season, so we can get to that. EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present opening round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. Getting set now for first round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. This is the fourth and final okay, stop so of the Web.com Tour Finals. Oh, and Frank, this is always okay. a pressure packed environment. It is, but also a chance Our to Eagles. see the raw talent that'll be on display for many a year. And at this tender Our stage, four. these players are powerful, talented, and often brilliant. Go. Good drive. That's a good start to the hole, right down the middle. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Right onto the green. There we go, that was a good ship. And to generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. We might be able to put birdie. this in. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Oh. Wow, I thought he made that. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Even par currently. That's a par, and that keeps the scorecard clean, seven. still even for the round. Oh my God. Okay. Frank 17 here at TPC Sawgrass gets all the attention when you look at the par threes, justifiably so. But number eight is a daunting challenge in its own right. It is longest of the four par threes, plus it's just littered with bunkers around the side, the back, and the front. Should be safely on deck. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Always two components to the long lag, but the speed, number one, and then the read, and missed out on that second part. Well, that's disappointing. Oh he misses God. the part button. He'll have this for bogey. This would give him a bogey. Oh 
Oh my god. I don't think a tourniquet is gonna work after that one. Tough to watch. Oh my god. Frank, okay. I think this is one of the most fascinating holes on the golf Best course. The 583 yard par 5 ninth hole. With technology now, a lot more players can reach this par 5 and 2. Gone are the days where it was a true three shotter, but uh, I remember when Sergio Garcia hit that three wood from what was it, 270, 280 yards? Still one of the best shots I've ever seen. And now the second shot here at this par 5. Frank, this is all about plotting your way around. Now the third shot at the ninth. Yeah, there's a reward for a precise short iron shot in here. If the pin's on the right or the left, precision pays off. There we go. Good that chip. Is an excellent play right there. The approach go. We need giving to him put another this good look. Not a gimme, but well within his range. There we go. Nice easy putt. There we go. We're even now. And who knows? We're it is a four-round tournament, setting himself up for a good weekend, maybe a Let's great go, one. A young star we makes it birdie. This. Getting set now Let's for the back nine, nine here at TPC Sawgrass. Frank, back what should nine. we expect? Well, there's a good run of holes. Ten, obviously very birdieable. Eleventh, the par five. Twelfth, a short par four. A good chance to get this round really going. That's got good carry. Looks to be a good setup going into the green here at the 10th. Second shot now at the 10th, and again, Frank, accuracy is at a premium. Yeah, gone are the days uh, to sort of thrash it out of the trees like Phil Mickelson. Ideally, coming out of that fairway, you're hitting to a green that moves to the right, so that makes it uh, a little bit more difficult than what uh, the mind's eye first sees. Well, that's a, it's a little absurd, that Rich. That shot wasn't that hard, but it's come up uh, well short. Didn't appear committed through impact. Oh, I just curved it. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Oh, I thought he had that. Oh, my God. No, no, no. And that's not the way you want to start the back nine. Missed putt, bogey, and a drop shot. Oh, my God. Wow, I thought what are that we doing? was in. What are we doing? So, two over par for the round. And that does it for us here at TPC Sawgrass. Great day, Frank. Yeah, a chance for the players to play one of the terrible. golf courses that has become so famous over the last 25 to 30 years. That for my partner, terrible. Frank Nabolo and our entire team, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long from the TPC Sawgrass and oh EA Sports. We got 78. Oh my God. We did terrible. We did terrible. Okay, so this is going to be the last game. EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present second round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. We have five holes left. We need to get this. Let's go. Just big swings, we'll get it. Big swings, we'll get it. Frank, now the second shot here at hole number six. Yeah, not overly long, but be very aware of these palm trees that are short. Many a shots caught those trees coming into this green. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but the short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. See if he does it here. Oh. Oh. 
That's costly right there. Painful. Trying to get out of here without too many bumps and bruises. This one is for Bogey. Oh my gosh. Hard to be perfect in this game. Not to Bogey. Doing so bad right now. Frank's seventh hole here at TPC Sawgrass. How do you break this one down? Not overly long, 440 yards, but uh, once again, it's a tee shot. If you're driving the ball well, that's fine. You just sort of blister it down there, but you're starting to lose one a little bit to the right. There's three pop bunkers there, and of course, if you're fearful of it going left, there's the canal all the way down the left side that'll get your attention. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Not enough on that one. Yeah, it just seemed to baby it. Well, this is how you build a good round, Frank. You just keep hitting greens. Locked in on the read and the speed. Oh, that is a painful bogey at the seventh hole. So a tester from four feet. Frank, this has been an absolute mess today and all week long. You said it best. TPC Sawgrass, the fabled stadium course designed by the legendary Pete Dye. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. And here at the eighth, Frank, most players are happy walking out of here with a par three. And the reason why, it's a very narrow entry to the screen. It's just littered with bunkers around, left, behind, to the side, and even short. Uh, once you get further up the green, though, even though this is sort of an undulating green, it starts to widen up. So don't get trapped into just looking at the front of this hole. Really? Is that awkward length? What? Now, as they say, 300 yard drive, one shot. And this is a short one, also one shot. Yeah, that's painful. Are you kidding oh me? My God. That looked like it was in. Just that's a little tap in there. here. He's made it. Here we are at the 8th at Pete Dye's famed stadium course at the TPC Sawgrass. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. Frank, this is a hole that I really like. And uh, players do too, Rich, especially off that back tee where it must be about 80 yards of shoot that you go through before the uh, hole actually starts to aid, uh, open up. And um, this green, 11 bunkers in total around the whole putting surface. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Second from an excellent lie. That's an absolute beauty. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Can't hide the flag stick from that man. Bogey here yesterday. Now this for birdie. Frank, where is that then? Yeah, thank God for small mercies. Now on to one of the most exciting back nines in golf here at the TPC Sawgrass in the stadium course. Let's begin at number 10, Frank, and what do you make of this hole? It's another one where you're just trying to fit the tee shot in the uh, in the fairway there. It's not a driver, just something that stays right. And, of course, um, we've seen a lot of people stray here down the left side. Who can forget Mickelson when he won his uh, Players' Championship, hitting that phenomenal 7-iron out of the fairway bunker, through the trees, and still finding the putting surface. But speaking of the putting surface, this green has more undulations than just about any green on the golf course. 
Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Well, that's what the great ones do. From the rough, they use their skill and their strength to get it out and get it close. Shouldn't be a problem here. For a bad score on the card, that's par. Well, uh, early exit for one of what well, I thought Rich was going to be the favorite, but um, their week's over. Numbers don't lie in this case, in this sport, and now a missed cut. Yeah, I'm John. Should we look for five? Let's see a couple things. We need... Like, our short game is so bad. So we got cut. Hmm. Oh, so that was so bad. That's it. So thank you guys for watching.